What's up, YouTube? Thank you for tuning in. I'm here with another scarring story from my life. But first, I'd like to touch on something that's kind of pissing me off right now. Uh, completely random note, it is shaving. God has blessed me with the face of a prepubescent 8th grader. So what that means is that I have this nice little uh, mexi stash here with a little gross patch with pube hairs growing out of my neck. When I'm shaving, I get these little pube hairs falling into my sink and I don't clean my sink out. I mean, let's be honest here, I'm not cleaning my sink out. So when girls come over, they see these pube-like hairs in my sink. They must be thinking that I'm either manscaping my pubes or uh, doing a little M baiting. That's a uh, masturbating over my sink, which I do neither. I do both in the privacy of my own room. Let's get back on topic. Uh, I just wanted to say that because it's making me angry. I wish that I had a beard the size of Zeus. That's neither here nor there. That is over in my sink where the pubes are. I mean, the, the neck hairs. Back to the story. The story goes, uh, I'm in ninth grade. And you know, in ninth grade, you know, in ninth grade, you're learning about yourself. You're learning who you are, and you may not take criticism so well. And... At this point in my life, I thought I was a good dancer. You might have seen my other videos. Um, I'm worming it uh, by ninth grade. I'm doing the worm here and there. I'm doing the worm everywhere at Green Eggs and Ham. I'm also roboting. I've been roboting since I came out of the womb. I thought at the time I was a good dancer. Um, unfortunately, I was wrong. I was dead wrong. Because uh, we went to a party, my friends and I, and this party was a birthday party. And there was a DJ there. Normally in ninth grade, the boys stand on one side and the girls stand on the other side and everyone looks at each other and uh, pretends like they're cool and no one dances. But for some reason at this dance, everyone was grinding. At this point in my life, I had never experienced grinding. Uh, I would never officially been out here grinding, as DJ Khaled would say, or Akon, whoever sings that. The fact of the matter is that I had never done this. And so, you know, you can't jump out on the dance floor and uh, think a moonwalk is going to suffice when people are grinding out there. So I, I put my game face on and uh, get ready to go grinding. And uh, I walk out, I find a, a lady, and I take her hand, escort her onto the dance floor, and uh, shove my junk all into her back business. We get going. We get to doing it. And I think I'm doing pretty good. I think I'm uh, sufficing as far as a grinding partner should. Uh, I'm doing the basic moves. The basic moves being uh, hands on waist, moving side to side, my crotch touching her ass. D on A is what I'm trying to say here. And it looked a little bit like this. Put my life on the line, put them like me to ride. I'm on top of the game, fuck if you like it or not. X how I get the free street, drop every sushi sweet. Soon you'll be dealing with H when you're dealing with G. That last part did not actually happen. I was not, uh, none of that was happening. I think I'm doing pretty good. And uh, apparently I'm not. I'm doing poorly as far as a grinding partner goes. Because another girl takes it upon herself to come up to me and say, that's not how you grind. Then how the fuck else do you grind? Uh, if it's not your dick rubbing up on the backside of a young lady, then uh, I'm not quite sure if you can do it wrong. But uh, at that time, I was very impressionable and stopped right there. And I don't think I did any dancing of that form for quite some time. A fun story that goes along with grinding is at one of our high school dances, I saw one of the best forms of grinding I've ever seen, and I couldn't even believe that it was happening at, at a dance, but there was a girl, and she was bent over, shaking shaking her junk, hopefully not her junk as in as in pee pee, but her, her uh, backside, her rear end. She was shaking it, uh, bent over, grabbing her ankles, doing her thing, but her shoes were off, and I was a little curious. And it looked a little like this. Let's get retarded. Yeah. Let's get retarded in here. Let's get retarded. Yeah. Let's get retarded. And I look over at her partner, and that's when I realize he's behind her, grinding up all in her biz with her shoes in his hand, 
and it looks a little like this. Hey, I put some new shoes on and suddenly everything's right. I said, hey. That last part actually did happen. He was giving her little patootie taps with his uh, with her shoes, which happened to be stilettos, and that might hurt if at the right angle. All in all, it was a very scarring moment in my life. Uh, I didn't dance for a while. I thought I was a bad dancer, but I've been reassured recently that uh, I'm a good dancer, or at least that's what they told me. So I have one more story, the third, the trifecta of all the things that have scarred me. So I hope you tune into my next video. I would lastly like to say thank you all for subscribing. I really appreciate it. You have no idea. When I first started making these videos, I had no idea anyone would even subscribe. And now I'm somewhere over 140 subscribers, and I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. All right. See you next time. Bye.